Yo, what is going on guys? Frick Trades here, bringing you another new weekly stock watch list. Before we get started though, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We would really appreciate it. And without much more further ado, this is going to be one of the craziest weeks in a while, guys. Elections in less than two weeks now. We have the FANG stocks reporting this week, or I guess for most people, the term or phrase. Uh, just the majority of the tech stocks are reporting. Um, we got stocks like AMD, Google, Snapchat, uh, Meta, Microsoft, Coinbase, Robinhood, Amazon, Apple. All of these big tech companies are reporting this week with elections as well being right around the corner. And it's going to be hectic. Um, maybe it could be volatile. Maybe it could be choppy. Maybe the market doesn't do anything, right? There's so many angles that the market can go. And it's our job as retail day traders specifically to really take advantage of what's presented in front of us so that's what i'm gonna be doing with you guys you will notice though that the watch list is really really small i have two stocks that i am watching only because everything else has earnings or there's just no good setups on those stocks at all so i'll go ahead and dive into the watch list so you guys take a look and see what i'm talking about we can go ahead and get started with nq and es as you guys know i like to start with my indexes to get a proper direction or an area of where we're going at or where we're currently sitting at so as far as NQ goes, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm looking at 20,700 20, as a breakout top level for NQ if we get any more upside there. Well, we obviously have room all the way up to 20,900, which is roughly where that all-time high is on NQ. Um, as well here, you can see that we also have a downtrend from the bottom side that gives us room till around 20,100, 20,200 if the week progresses to go on and keeps going. So... Those are the levels I'll be watching on NQ. We can go ahead and go over to ES now. Like I said, these are pretty simple levels. Nothing too complicated that I see in between all of this. Now, the weird thing about ES, though, is that we are more catered towards the downside than we are to the upside. NQ is kind of stuck in between both places right now. But as far as ES goes, it's kind of catered more towards the downside. As far as ES goes, or I guess SPY for a lot of you, is we're either looking... I'm, I'm either looking at 5810 to the downside or if we ever come back up to 5900 which is roughly where we have a double top from tuesday this week and then of course from friday this week as well from the highs so 60 points away from there really 5920 is the area that i'm waiting on on es and then as far as the downside goes 5810 is the area that i'm looking at after that 5800 see if we get any sort of hold below that you can see that we've been in a range maybe for not too long maybe for like a week or two but you know it is something to keep an eye out for and see if we get any sort of uh weakness or momentum buying pressure to the top side who knows right a lot of things are adding up right now for the market and then as soon as elections we get tech earnings out of the way everything should shouldn't I wouldn't say be back to normal, but everything should be smoothed out just a bit more and seeing what uh, our future president holds and what the uh, stock market holds along with that, with tech earnings and all this stuff. So that's ES right there. I'll go ahead and go over to Tesla now. Tesla being on an absolute tear. If you guys caught any bit of it this week, North signaled two crazy plays on it. Thursday, it was a 50% trade. And then Friday, two Tesla signals. One was around 20 to 30 percent the other one was i think 15 to 20 percent absolutely crazy it was an insane catch on tesla with an after earnings move awesome awesome um but as far as tesla goes if i go to the one year or the four hour you guys can see that the high is at 271 now this isn't the all-time high if i go to the one year or even the three year five year one day chart you can see the all-time high is until like 414 or something in the 400 areas so um we still got some time on tesla but from when I remember back in the day, and you can see these are all levels that I have had charted before when Tesla used to be at these levels. We haven't been here for a whole year now. Is that Tesla definitely picks up on the momentum and volatility once we start getting back above to these higher level levels that we used to be at. So this is something to keep an eye out for with Tesla being on the radar back again after the consolidation or the whatever chop fest Tesla was going through. So um, as far as levels go, I'm just looking at 270 and then 271 on Tesla just to keep things simple, keep things safe going into the week. This could gap up and break. Who knows? You know, it's our job to just to trade with what's in front of us. And at the current moment, with what I have lined up for tomorrow or even for the week, is this 270 level. So there's Tesla. And then last but not least, I actually have NVIDIA here. So as far as NVIDIA goes, it's a pretty simple setup. I'm not looking to any to trade this at all to the downside. You can see that we haven't had any strong candle closes about like below 137, 138-ish. And multiple rejections around 137, as you can see. But I'm not interested on that. I'm more interested to the upside. I'm not usually a big fan of trading NVIDIA to the downside as it is. 
um, unless it's some spectacular immaculate setup, which, you know, we only get those every now and then. So um, as far as the video goes, I'm looking to trade this at 144.50 and then at 145. So um, that is all I got for the watch list, though, guys. Like I said, there is not too much going on. Um, there's a lot of volatility lined up, maybe choppiness. Maybe we get both. Who knows, right? It's our job. I'll reiterate this again. Is It's our job as retail traders to take advantage of the moves that are presented in front of us and not to be too busy trying to predict where the market's going to go, what's going to happen with the market. It's good to, to have an outlook to see what could happen, but... Ultimately, that's not going to change your style of trading and how much you make, right? Everything is determined with how you execute with the trades and setups that are presented in front of you at your style. So, uh, But yeah, guys, with that much more being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the watch list. Sorry I kept it short. I'm trying to stick to the better setups, and this is all we got. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'd really appreciate it. And with that much more being said, hope you guys enjoy the week and have a good rest of your weekend. Peace out.